Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. In today's video, we'll have a look at some of the new features in the new version of DaVinci Resolve in the updated version, version 2.0. So without further ado, let's go right to it. Okay, so here's the first thing I like in the new version of DaVinci Resolve. It is the beauty plugin. I already did a video about that. So if you want to have a more in-depth uh, look about that, you can have that. It'll be up in the cart somewhere around here in the screen, I do believe so. So let's go on to my second thing. And the second thing I like in the new update is the new way you can customize your shortcuts. I did a video about how the shortcuts worked in a previous video, but now it has been totally renewed and it has its own new layout and it's super dandy and pretty darn cool. So now you can have this new keyboard where you can toggle like before against all the different uh, presets that you had before, like you, you can use the the DaVinci preset, you can use the Premiere preset and you can use the Avid preset, also the Final Cut, I believe so. And uh, the layout is totally new and looks kind of awesome. The number three thing in the new version of DaVinci I do absolutely like is the new uh, undo history. So now you can toggle up to the edit menu and here you can see all your steps you have done in the previous. And instead of doing a lot of control C, to remove the things. You can just go in and move the particular thing you do not want to apply in your edit. Very handy and very neat indeed. Number four, Blackmagic have added this feature, which is a very good feature. It is now the ability that it will absolutely save your new projects from uh, the beginning instead of you having to go in and, and enable that by going to the preferences and going into user and going to save and then adding that. Now it will do that automatically. It will save your project. So if you forget to set it up correctly, no harm is done. And also the life save will be added on as well, I do believe. If it's not, please do use life save because it's an awesome feature if DaVinci crashes. And it does that once in a while. Number five I do like in the new version of DaVinci Resolve is the dub detection. It just means if you are having a, a piece with a lot of B-roll and you just dump in B-roll like crazy, then you can go up here and uh, enable dub detection and it will absolutely tell you which clip you have duplicates of so you can remove them and it will be way better to look at for your audience. Number six, one of the most awesome features in the new version of the Winter Resolve is the flatten timeline option. This is super handy. So all you have to do is you have to go to the timeline option and then clean up timeline and it will collapse all the footage as you see right here. So now you have one timeline and it will save you a tremendous amount of time cleaning up your timelines fast and easy. One of my favorite new features. Number seven, this is uh, all about the media pool. If you now in the new version of DaVinci Resolve will have a look at the media pool, you'll see that your clips is now highlighted. So the ones who are having a red square around will be the clips used in your project. And if you look into the clips, you can see these two white lines and that's the portion of the clip which is being used in your timeline. And that is a very neat and great feature as well. Feature number eight I like in the new update of DaVinci Resolve. This is again applied or it's about using the media pool. Now you have the ability to open different bins in the same media pool. So you don't have to open, for instance, if you want to open two bins, you can do that in the same media pool and then you can just drag your clips in instead of opening them one at a time and dragging the clips. This will save you time in the end, I believe. Again, a great feature that Blackmagic just added without even asking for any payment. Again, a super nice feature Blackmagic just added. And here we are to the last on my list of the new features. Number nine is the Blanking Fill plugin, which will help you 
create a background if you're shooting something on your cell phone and you shoot like this instead of like that. It will absolutely help you fix the background. It's super easy and it's again a super nice feature to have. Uh, if you are doing work for clients where clients deliver you the footage and they give you all this cell phone footage where <laughs> it's a mess, you can actually make that look pretty good, pretty fast without any effort. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on the channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.